All right, uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that we've uh, made this last year with uh, Planet Nine. But before I do, I just want to talk about the, uh, the technology behind Planet Nine. So it's running on Node.js. Um, and the reason it does that is, so before we made Planet Nine, we looked at a lot of technologies. And it's clear that JavaScript runs, it's the most popular programming language in the world. Obviously because of browsers, but then after Node.js, you can use the same stuff there. So if you're doing web development in any way, you probably know some JavaScript. We also get access to the NPM module repository, which last week passed 1 million packages, which is a huge benefit to developers. Another thing is that we can extend Planet 9 through something we call service scripts. That enables you to write JavaScript to extend the core of Planet 9 to do what you guys want to do. And indeed, we've seen many cases of Planet 9 being used in ways we didn't even think about. So that's super cool. All right, so the last version had a couple of issues with the data access layer, or it wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. So we've been focusing on improving that. This one, the new one, is faster. I mean, it's way faster. I'm talking an order of magnitude faster. And that is, just that in itself is so great, but it does not come with the cost of less features. Indeed, we have a lot more features now. We have schemas, queries with JSON, with, uh, like they said before, transactions, uh, foreign keys, all of these complex joins, all of it, we got it. And you'll be able to choose that from a click in the user interface if you want to, or you can write it in code. We also transparently handle the differences. So if you're using something like SQLite and it doesn't support JSON, Planet 9 will on the fly convert the JSON type to the nearest field and then convert it back. So you don't have to think about that. We got you covered. We also changed from a default. So the default installation of Planet 9 used a file-based uh, file based database. But now we changed that to SQLite. And it's way faster. It's more secure. We had some issues on Windows with the last one. So this should be way better. So just one of the, just to give you an idea. So let's say that you did extend Planet 9 using service scripts. You put that behind an API that you made in the API designer, and it's getting hit a lot of times. So every request you get to Planet 9 requires, let's say, some database queries. So let's say it looks like this. So this is just a, like a simple example. But let's say you don't need to perform that query for every request. So just cache it. So that's 60 times 1,000 milliseconds. So this query will now be cached across the entire fleet of Planet 9 uh, for 60 seconds. So if you have Planet 9 installed across different places in the world, it will still be cached. Another thing we got with it is a lot of new databases. So an interesting one is CockroachDB. I know a lot of customers require near perfect, always on availability. So if you're using just one database, obviously the problem is that if it goes down, then what do you do? Well, uh, CockroachDB is a distributed database, so you can put that on data centers across the world. And if one of those goes down, the raft algorithm will just put you to one of the other ones. And because it's wire compatible with Postgre, you can use your, your same tools, client tools that you're used to. No problem. All right, so uh, the pro code offering uh, that was talked about. So because we use server scripts to extend Planet 9, we did see that there's a lot of JavaScript developers that want to do more. And how many here have heard of React? Yeah, that's a lot. What about Vue? Oh, all right, cool. So. Uh, we made a new editor. Uh, oh, by the way, how many of you have used more than one editor in your life? Right, well, 
Congratulations, you'll get to use one more. <laughs> um, this is really, really cool, actually. It runs Webpack and Bubble behind the scenes. It's compiled in memory. An optimized version is stored for your customers, so there's no delays there. You can even use this on a mobile phone. So if you need to make some quick change, you can just do that, hit compile, and it'll just work. Uh, so for those of you who don't want to change the editor, we have a proof of concept uh, integration with VS Code and more are coming because we are API first. So if you want to use your own editor, at least at the moment, if it's VS Code, uh, you can do that. Um, so we talked about NPM modules. So if anyone ha here has developed in React, and it seems like a lot of you have, then it does. What, it takes five minutes, and then you want to install an NPM, uh, NPM package, right? So we made something for that as well. You can just click uh, the NPM installer in Planet 9, search for a package, click the package, boom, it's installed. And it's installed on the fly, so you don't even have to restart Planet 9. And then you can use that in uh, the app editor. Uh, yeah. Uh, we took that design and moved it over to server scripts as well, because some of our customers had hundreds of server scripts, and that didn't really scale too well, because you have 100 tabs or something, right? But in this editor, you're able to have projects, tabs, much more dynamic helpers. So if you're adding an API endpoint or table or something, you can just right click, and then if you want to do a query, on some table, you will find that, and it's generated. And also, obviously, since we had the NPM support for the app editor, you get the same thing here as well. It's across the fleet of uh, Planet 9. So if you want to use some NPM package here, you can do that as well. And because we're supporting uh, React and Vue, Angular, all of those with Webpack and Babel, we get the same thing here as well. So if you want to use TypeScript, PureScript, ClojureScript, whatever, you can also use that there, which is really cool. I've used it myself, and it's so much better. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was just a quick overview. Uh, what you've seen just now, it, that's just the beginning. We, in a couple of months, there will be so many cool improvements to this. And we really are committed to making the best developer tools for people that want to do pro code instead of low code. Uh, so where you can create, so instead of uh, creating or thinking about like webpackconf.js or Azure AD integrations or all that boring stuff, focus on creating value for your customers instead. All right, so I'm Thomas, uh, Chief Architect of Planet Nine. Uh, I'll be here all day, so if you have any questions about the technicalities of Planet Nine, please come and say hello. <laughs>